So we're going to add a bottle. I'm actually going to throw it so it makes a noise. So I'm trying to get as many puppies in the video as possible. I'm going to turn it off for a moment. Okay, here we go. Um, so just a noise. It's just a plastic bottle. Here we go. Well, they didn't even turn around and look. Well, that wasn't much fun. That wasn't much fun either. They heard, they'd turn around. If I keep um, making noises, they would come this way. Let's grab some balls. That's how I call them, by the way. So if you ever want your puppy to come, if you make that noise, with you know, pup, 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 and that high-pitched type noise, they'll come running. They will come. That one really likes that little toy. I need more of those little toys. Whoop, there goes a pink ball. Whoops. Lime green is that one over there, heading towards that other puppy over there. So today we have added aluminum cans. Now, with aluminum cans, you've got to be super, super careful um, because those teeth will go through that can and then the aluminum can becomes very sharp. I do remove all the tabs, but with an, an aluminum can, I bend it in half so they can actually get their teeth around it if they want to. Um, and there we go. There's our first puppy picking up an aluminum can. So we're working on our scent article, uh, different textures and surfaces. Well, now he got distracted. Let's see what everyone else is doing. Okay, we've got uh, a couple puppies over there. One is playing with the plastic bottle. I'm not anymore. I have one puppy down here, I think. <laughs> I think that's his favorite toy. I'm not sure who that is. We recut and recolored the puppies this morning. Same, same colors, same cuts, just so they're more distinctive. So that's cut on the left rib, that's a boy. There we go. And that was cut on left rear. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. I can't see the collar from here. It could have been a girl. I don't see any equipment underneath. So I think that's pink. So there's red. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute.
So today is Saturday, um, and it's the probably the first Saturday of November. I don't know what the date is. Uh, maybe 5th, something like that. Um, and today they'll be out here by themselves. Dahlia will be here going in and out. I will be here going in and out. So, and what, what I'm looking for when I say that, what I'm concerned about is this being a new area, it is amazing how a puppy will find a loophole and be able to get out. Um, so it's really super important that we watch them and when they start getting really creative at the bottom of the gates, we figure out uh, how to stop them from going um, under or through any of the fencing. So we will have one more expansion and that will be to um, expand out into oh, about 15 more feet. So it'll be a huge area. That was yellow that just joined the group out here. Oh. Yeah, you see, that's not a fun boy. Oh, he lost his cam. That looks like pink. Took it over there in the bed. She's just gonna sit with her can and chew on it. So the puppy over there is cut on the right rear. Of course, that's a boy. There's a violet again. There goes blue. Violet's over there doing spedlies. Oh, she stopped.
So it's very clear that blue has a new collar on. It's cut on the left front shoulder. It might be yellow. Oh, he's getting tired. He's going to go over and take a nap. Oh, yeah. 